Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to look at bubble plots in this video. So a bubble plot allows us to look at the relationship among three numerical variables but in a two-dimensional graph. Um, the third numerical variable, which in our case is going to be GNI, is going to be represented by the size of the bubble. So looking at our data, we would expect the Germany bubble to be the biggest. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come up to Insert, and I'm going to select where I normally get my scatter plots. I'm just going to come down and select Bubble, and that gives me a placeholder. Now I'm going to click inside the chart area and that will give me my chart design um, dialog box and I'm going to say select data. I want to add a series and I'm going to select um, life expectancy. My X values will be in B2 to B11. Remember, we've got a backspace over that equals 1 because I'm going to select my birth rates for my Y values. And now it wants to know what is my bubble size. So I'm going to select my GNI. And then I just say OK and OK. So there's my bubble chart. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup. Um, I'm going to say add and I want my axis titles. And so this axis title down here is going to be life expectancy in years. This vertical axis is going to be, backspace over that, is going to be birth rate. And that's represented in percentages. And now I'm going to clean up both of these axes. So I click on the axis on down here on my 20, 40, 60, and I'm going to say format axis. And I really, for life expectancy and looking at my data, I don't need to go all the way down to um, zero. So 50 is my lowest. So I'm going to start below that and go to 45. It's going to default and tell me that um, my largest is going to be 90. And now I want to come down here to my number down here at the bottom. And I want to get rid of those decimal places. So I'm going to backspace over the 2, put in the 0, and hit Enter. So now my life expectancy runs from 45 to 90 years. I'm OK with the 0 to 60. But I'm still going to format it because I want to get rid of my percentages. I mean, get rid of my decimal places. And I think I'm OK because birth rate percentages is running from 0 to 60. So I'm OK there. I hit Enter. Um, as you all know from my other videos, if I want to change that font, I just come here to Font, Change This. To whichever font you want right. and then it'll make it bigger um, and for this for my title chart <clears throat> I'm going to put down life expectancy birth rates and GNI because remember we never send our graphs out into the wild right, without them being properly labeled if you want to get fancy and change your colors, you could um, format your data series and do different colors, but I don't know that necessarily is a big deal. What this does do is it gives you a well-formatted, well-labeled, and accurate bubble chart or bubble plot. So congratulations on making it through, and I hope this helps, and thanks for watching.